it was 37. Number one was 39. There was no dash. It was um, more exciting <laughs> for me than the, I would say the average den was because I had to get in the den with her to do the work. And when you see, you can see it. The opening goes this way, but then the bear's back here. So the only way you really can get in <clears throat> to do your work is to get right in with the bear. And when I first slid in, the bear was, you know, that almost, almost too close, you know. <laughs> and and with her looking down at me, kind of got me excited there for a while. Can you hear, hear my you breathing? Yeah. And I'm getting tired, you know. I'm trying to hold that light. And I thought, oh, I shouldn't keep that sail. She told me since she was cut, we had to check this cut for uh, you. Yeah, if you want any time something to do, we are going to be collecting her bowels, see the bowels, we're going to see around here. So we'll help close up the entrance a little bit and we eventually probably get a few. How much? 132. Mom weighs 132. See how much weight she lost raising she cubs, feeding cubs. That's normal. We would expect her back to 176 last winter. We expect her to be back up around 180 this next winter because she's not feeding cubs so she can regain all that. Is that a typical den, a blowdown uh, underneath the... Uh... Well, yeah, blowdowns are. I would say it's not typical in one way that it's very spacious, way bigger than most dens. But they do use blow down root systems pull up and they go in there a lot up here. I would say it's definitely the number one thing. Sometimes what we call leaners, when you get a tree that goes over and the roots just pull up a little bit and they crawl just under there. And then you have the nice low roof that we are a little more familiar with. Um, there's there's a lot of other there's a lot of trees up here big enough and hollow enough that they go inside the hollow tree. Big hollow cedars are very common for small bears. The smallest bears that den alone are two-year-olds and weigh about 55 to 65 pounds, and they can fit through a hole about that big. So they go into the base of a cedar a lot. One thing she did is collected a bunch of boughs to, to make a nest out of, you know, and you'll see that when you see the den. guys would be about 60 pounds, almost double their weight, and uh, at 60 pounds they'll be in a den by themselves. Thank you. <laughs>